Is it necessary to say how old we are? No, it's not necessary. <laughs> My name is Camila, I play guitar. My name is Igor, I play guitar. He's a good driver though. <laughs> I'm Vitaly, I'm playing bass and backing vocals. You know, and I'm Ralph, I play the drums for a few shows. And who are we? <laughs> well, the greatest tour, the band. Found the Grand Astoria. Which year? In 2009, in April, it was founded. Okay. Yeah, I think that the first the first rehearsal was on the first of April of 2009. Okay. And how you, yeah, meet us together? Did you play in other bands uh, before the Grand Astoria? Or what yes, well, me and Igor we played uh, in other bands in Russia, and uh, we know each other pretty long, for a long time, so yeah, we found the band with him and uh, there were lots of lineup changes and uh, this lineup is uh, another reincarnation of the band, so... Mm -hmm. yeah. so okay, just for the, the tour? The yeah, let's see, okay. let's see, yeah. mm. no one knows. <laughs> Um, yeah, could you tell me some milestones or some great things do you have in your band history? The first tour, first European tour was very important, of course, because uh, I don't know any other b Russian bands who are making the tours in Europe, in the, I mean, mm. in the style of w that we are playing. So it was uh, very hard to book this, to organize all this uh, road, to understand how it's going mm. in Europe, because in Russia it's a lot. Uh, it's a different uh, way <clears throat> because here the bands I usually tour with a full back line mm -hmm. and stuff and in Russia it goes not on this, uh, usually on by trains uh, <laughs> and uh, not with the van. Hmm. Okay. So I think the European, the first European tour was a big step for us. So we liked it and uh, we still continue to make touring mm -hmm. and touring very much. Did you manage the tour by your own, or is it? Uh, yes, I do it by my own, and oh, still, wow. still hope to find the right booker. Oh, pretty tired. Lot of rug, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a very hard. It's a hard job. So, uh, I just don't. I just want to play guitar and sing and uh, mm -hmm. practice more, and not to sit, um, you know, in front of the computer for twenty-four-seven. Mm -hmm.
question. You you say you you've been to Europe and um, how was it? Was it different to Russian? The 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 people there. Um, do you get um, better feedback or not? What was the different? Yes, uh, the, the, feed was, the feedback was much better. Mm -hmm. uh, although the quantity of people on the shows, they, it was almost the same that in Russia. We still have uh, maybe the same, like 50 till 150 people at our shows. But uh, the feedback is much better because uh, everybody who is coming, uh, they're buying CDs, T-shirts, saying good words mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, <coughs> they're very kind. Uh, so here there is like... Uh, culture for listening of for rock music yeah. and supporting the band in Russia it's uh, different mm. maybe in St. Petersburg and in Moscow it's uh, better of course but uh, not in the rest of Russia yeah it's more rural there oh, yeah yeah do you write the songs <coughs> and the lyrics I write most of the stuff okay. uh, yeah, but we make uh, arrangements together thinking about the details yeah I, I usually You know, don't know how to describe this, but I usually have some ideas. Uh, mm. I always, if I have three minutes, uh, I play guitar and always uh, writing something. So, uh, so that's the reason that we have so many albums and so many releases, so many songs we have. Mm. Um, we always want to record something new, mm, okay. like, like this. Um, if you write songs and you. Uh, maybe you write the lyrics, uh, I guess so. Yes, <laughs> okay. of course. Um, do you have speci specific topics there, or is it just coming to your mind, or do we have a concept yeah, yeah. if you write an um, album with your lyrics, or is it from song to song different? Yeah, there are mm. different topics, of course, but uh, yeah. uh, behind the uh, last record, it was, a, uh, it was the one concept yeah. uh, about... Uh, You know, it's more about God or something like this. But uh, it's not like a regular concept record. It's just have some common idea, which is in all tracks, about how people found the presence of God uh, in uh, ordinary things mm -hmm. and uh, this stuff. Uh, I can't say that uh, I'm such a good lyricist. Of course not, because it na English is my na native language. But I uh, try hard. And I think the next album will be uh, much better, mm -hmm. lyrics-wise. And what to add? I don't know, yeah, of course, so when I start uh, writing the song, uh, li the lyrics, uh, I have some idea, maybe concept, and then it goes uh, just with okay, the flow. Just flows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. um, you released three albums, okay? Mm -hmm. Reverend Astoria and the two? Yeah, second. second and Omnipresence. Yes. Uh, is there a favorite album which you could recommend us, or is it just... <laughs> Yeah, an album which you are proud of it. Yeah, um, I like all albums, but okay. uh, of course uh, the last album uh, is uh, the, the best for each band. Everybody will yeah. say this, so the last album is, is better because of the quality, because of the because our playing improved, my singing improved, so mm. everything is getting better. And I hope next one will be much better. And after Omnipresence <laughs> there was also uh, Seven Inch, Yeah. Uh, released and uh, I think it's uh, the highest uh, point that we achieved. It's the best uh, release for us. Hmm. And I'm looking forward to release new material. And I'm very proud of it. Okay, some cosmic stuff for you.
Um, could you tell me some stories how the recordings have been? I, I borrowed the amp. Oh, really? And one guy and broke it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very, expensive. very expensive. Very expensive. Three thousand euros. Oh. You have to pay for it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a I manage it. <laughs> it is a good uh, guy. This guy is just like fellow of us, but uh, uh, w we wanted a special sound. We needed a very like raw sounding amplifier, like uh, Matamp or Soldano yeah. or, or not orange, but maybe electric or green, something like mm. this. And we, it's uh, hard to find them like this in Saint Petersburg because uh, they're not popular, they're not common. Mm -hmm. There, uh, and there is one guy who owns them, and he said, uh, "Yeah, guys, you can use it, but be, please be careful with it <laughs> and don't, don't break it." Yeah. And we said, "Yeah, we're 28, 29 years old, so yeah. we're big people. We no problem. We're not child children. We can uh, make everything properly." said yeah okay just, he gave it to us and next that just the day in the studio it was already something was wrong with it, it was broken yeah. i don't know <laughs> so but we managed it somehow okay uh, yeah actually the studio where we're recording in st petersburg it's a small place in the house of uh, it's called the house of composers <laughs> uh, the house where Classical composers meet and okay. they record their music and they rehearse playing piano and, and drinking vodka. And drinking <laughs> vodka, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's yeah. Russia. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and uh, so <laughs> we have to wait when the studio is uh, free. So when if the studio, really yeah, if the studio is free, the guy who works there, our friend, he calls us and says, "Yeah, you can come." <laughs> so we just because it's uh, cheaper for us, we can afford a bigger studio with this, mm. uh, bigger possibilities. So we are waiting for this guy. So once he calls us, we are going there quickly and trying to record what we have. Okay. Yeah, but the process of recording is uh, is going very slow. Not not f because we are on tour always. So mm. for the new album, we recorded drums and some guitars. When we return, we'll record bass and uh, other guitars. How many weeks uh, do you record the album? Record the album. Oh, we started it in. Uh, we started recording drums in. Uh, I think in the end of January. Yeah, January. It was like three days for for all drums. Yeah. We recorded drums for sixteen oh, songs. That's pretty fast. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty fast. Because the drummer uh, lives in Moscow. We have the drummer. Mm. Uh, it was the session guy. Uh, also. Ah, okay, so you must have. And the way and okay. Yeah, yeah, he, he wasn't able to stay in St. Petersburg mm -hmm. for a long time. He just came for three, four days, and we recorded them very quickly. And but it was yeah quite good. And uh, so he left us with drums, went away, and then we started to search for the proper bass player and uh, simultaneously recording some guitars. So it's like you know the process is slow. So I think the album will be released. Uh, next year because we don't have a, a band now who can play and record we have just like bassist for recording bassist for touring drummer for recording drummer for touring mm. drummer without visa and drummer from germany mm. so <laughs> is, is it difficult for you to, to no it's not typical the, it's it's uh, it's uh, yeah it's became typical since yeah. our uh, drummer and bassist yeah. left the band mm. the guys which whom we played it uh, since 2009 they left the band and uh, yeah. in after one year okay after first two tours in europe they were you know it's it was, was exhausting for them mm. or maybe they're just pussies <laughs> 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 i don't know yeah. yeah so we have to find another guys and it's still you know going and going people mm. come and go so yeah. like this yeah you've been touring so much uh, do we have other jobs except the music business? Is it no, I don't have job. And also Igor don't, doesn't have, I don't know if he doesn't have. <laughs> no. Ralph has. Yeah, I have yeah. a job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't, we only live with this, with music. Okay, so right. recording and touring and stuff. At the end, uh, we get some special questions at the end. Something like a <coughs> ritual of the Mespertine sessions.
Vitaly, please start. <laughs> What's romantic what? Uh, evening. What's romantic evening for me? Uh, <laughs> get out of here, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'll take a wee, <laughs> some candles and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> with your girlfriend then, right? Yeah, sure, of course with my girlfriend. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Weed is your girlfriend. <laughs> Weed is my girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. I don't Maybe. know. Let, let's, let's. <laughs> let's see it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. Go on. Mm. Vinyl CD M uh, music cassette to MP3. <laughs> yeah, I look like uh, I um, I like wha uh, how vinyl looks like, yeah, but it uh, yeah, and how uh, how it sounds. And CD is also great because it's small. Cassette is great because <laughs> it's uh, it's not for everyone now. It's yeah, that's right. It's true vintage, yeah, <laughs> and it's true black metal now. <laughs> <laughs> black and noise uh, artists release their stuff on cassette, so it's also great. And MP3 is. Perfect for player on the road. For piracy. <laughs> for piracy. Yeah. So I don't know what to choose. Okay. Just I like all the formats. Yeah, they're all pros, yeah. yeah. They're all useful, so I adore them all. Yeah. Yeah, my question is uh, how do you find Pamela Anderson's ears? <laughs> So I have no idea because usually I look at Pamela Anderson's tits, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and That's the ears. Yeah, <laughs> no, no clue of the ears. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they just look nice. So. <laughs> That's about it, huh? Hi, Igor. Uh, my question is: Are you a Russian? Yes, I'm a Russian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <just> joking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you ever kiss a fan of you? Yeah, but what? What you know? Was did you ever kiss a fan? Of you. In Italy, in Italy yeah. it was. Uh, Last time what? it was in Italy. There was yeah. girl. I, I don't know <laughs> the meaning of word fan. It's just like the cool people. Yeah, yeah. I always kissing and hugging yeah. uh, yeah. someone. It's like. just um, yeah, yeah. the Russian. Um, but I think it's common in, in, okay. in Europe. So I like kissing. <laughs> <laughs>
the sign says out of order, boys. And I'm the teacher reading of this town's academy. Introductions all around. My name is Mr. Dark. I advise you to respect it.
Yeah, do, do you want to spread some words for the society and the world, at least? <laughs> go vegan. <laughs> What? <laughs> go vegan. Go, ve go freaking. Uh, go freaking, at least. Okay, then thank you guys. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. Yes. Yeah.